Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more Fighter Subscriber, where I have challenged my subscribers to a fight. Not in a local car park, but instead through the medium of KSP dogfights. The preliminaries are still ongoing, entries are still open, but will be closing soon. I think about four days after this video comes out, so if you want to uh, to enter, get in soon. Um, nonetheless, a handful of fighters have put in such an extraordinary performance during the preliminaries that we can safely say they've made it through to the next round. We've already seen two of these craft, let's go meet the third. This is the SMA48 Amelie by Mecha DS, and this little star-nosed beauty is certainly the least conventional looking craft we've received so far, but uh, I'm always a fan of the unconventional. Um, yeah, it goes for function over form, which it did so to lethal effect uh, during the preliminaries. Um, it's powered by two Saturn engines. It's armed with uh, two Gal 22 guns, which is becoming something of a standard this season, um, as well as uh, six Sidewinders and six Amrams. I took it up for the usual test flight and yeah, it handles very smoothly. It's not quite as sharp a turner as the other two craft we've seen so far, but yeah, I'd imagine it can line up a shot very smoothly. Um, and as I mentioned in the preliminaries, it was more than lethal enough, but can it turn it on when it counts? The SMA-48's first challenge then, as with uh, all craft this season, will be against my Red Hawk. Um, yeah, um, the For the Fight Heartbleed mode will be on to uh, try and make sure the fight doesn't go for, on for too long, although that's um, that's kind of had varying success so far. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get this started. And it all kicks off, Yosemite Kerman coming around hard in the in his Amelie. As I said, not the fastest turner, but um, I'm I'm hopeful for this craft. I really am. Just the uh, just the one Amram away was that one. How many is it set? Just the it is just set up for the one missile per target. And that should mean it has um, plenty of sidewinders left over when we get into uh, into close quarters, which can be an advantage. Although it might mean it's still dragging along uh, a few of the uh, a few of the Amrams, which is is not ideal. Closing the distance now down to about six, six and a half kilometers. Um, still, still has one of the Amrams lined up. I assume um, one of the other ones is still uh, closing in on its target. Coming around, popping countermeasures. I will switch to the dogfight cam because otherwise I will get lots of comments complaining about it. Another missile away. Yosemite Kerman now trying to line up the guns. The dogfight cam is going a bit nuts, but I'll. Yeah, you could, you could please focus on what you're supposed to be shooting at. That would be that would be fantastic. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is a bug that needs fixing, but this is something's going very low. Ah, oh, it's one of the red hawks. I thought that was about to crash into the ground, although it has left itself a bit of a sitting duck. The Yosemite Kerman can't quite line up the guns, though. Yeah, I'm noticing there's also um, a lot of lead angle there on the uh, on the nav ball. Oh my god! Close range sidewinder didn't do anything. Yosemite Kermit goes for the guns, goes for another sidewinder, scorches that Red Hawk, forcing it low. Doesn't manage to do any lethal damage to it though. It's looking reasonably good for the SMA48 so far. I might switch to another one of the craft, see how um, see how they're faring. Something just blew up. <laughs> I'm not sure what it was. Oh, which side? oh my god, that's close! That's close, and it is first blood to the Red Hawks. Steek Kerman takes a Sidewinder to the face. Yeah. Okay, Yosemite Kerman trying to get a quick revenge kill. That's some heavy damage. Has a, has a missile coming in, has to break off, popping countermeasures. That, hmm, could have done with sticking on the tail of that Red Hawk. Now has a perfect opportunity, though, if the... Um, Dog but Cam would care to show it. There we go! That is beautiful. One of the Red Hawks taken out. It is back to two apiece. Yosemite Kermit again. There's a bit of a joust going on there. Bit of a. Yeah, one of the crafts heavily hit. Yosemite Kermit just trying to line up the guns. Another one of the Red Hawks has gone. We're down to the last Red Hawk, and it doesn't look like it will be for very long. Josh Kerman dodges one missile now has to take on two of the SMA-48, and that is not going to be easy. Of course, they will have plenty of missiles. Oh my god, that one went quite close. Ah, uh, one of them... Wait, one of them just blew up. I think that, that must have been either friendly fire or the old suicide by missile. Either way, that is not good news for uh, this Red Hawk 
Josh Kerman's Red Hawk now missing a few bits. Yeah, a bit of a battle of attrition going on. Can the uh, can the Amelie finish the job? Josh Kerman comes around. A little bit unstable, can't quite line up the shot. Take some more hits. Does manage to uh, does manage to get out of that dive. Gunfire coming in. Just um yeah, just trying to avoid the gunfire at the moment, although as the SMA-48 closes the gap, yet more damage. Still not dead yet. Josh Kerman is hanging on in there. Yep, has now lost both tail fins. I suspect will spin out. And the SMA-48 Amelie finishes the job. Omelette Kerman. Ego Man's little patron Kerbal in there. The sole survivor of that fight, so... A hard-fought victory there. A hard-fought, but a victory nonetheless. Let's um, let's move on. For the next challenge, the Amelies will have to fight my Spike Tail. Now, this is an interesting one because both previous crafts so far in this season have fallen at this hurdle and fallen pretty hard. Let's see if the SMA 48s can triumph where the others have not. Let's uh, let's get them up into the air. Here we go then, GT Kerman around reasonably quickly once again, again away with uh, an Amram. Oh, a couple this time. As I've mentioned before, yeah, there is uh, there is something in this version of BD Armory. I'm on 1.5.2 point whatever it is, which means that craft do quite often fire more missiles than they're set up for. Um, which might be a good thing in terms of the, <laughs> the SMA-48 trying to sort of rid themselves of the way the Amrams before they get uh, before they get too close to their opponents. Yeah, none of the missiles coming in for the uh, for GT Kerman's craft came anywhere close. Another Amram away, closing the distance. Let's um before I forget again, let's stick on um stick on the dogfight camp. Uh, I had a comment the other day asking what it was Heartbleed Mode does. Sidewinder coming very close to that. Oh my god, one of the Amelies has taken a pretty, pretty nasty hit. Uh, just stick with GT Kerm while he goes in for the uh, the shot with the uh, shot with the Sidewinder. It was this one. No fatal damage, actually. Lining up a shot one of the Spike Tails does some damage. Yeah, someone's asking me what Heartbleed Mode does. It basically just slowly strips a lot of debris there from something. Huh. Something, something's exploding. I do have... Yeah, I do have dogfight camera on. What on earth are you doing? Ah, oh, this is not looking healthy. One of the spike tails is gone. And comes Graf is not in not in good shape. Ah, oh, God, I should fi finish what you're saying. Oh my God, that was a lucky hit. We're down to one spike tail. Ah, oh, I can finish what I'm trying to say. Yes, Hartley Mo basically slowly strips all parts of every craft of their hit points, meaning you know each craft gets slowly easier and easier to destroy. Hopefully meaning the craft doesn't go on too long because, you know, the slightest hit. Not like that. That was a pretty full on hit, but the slightest hit will actually kill a craft in midair. Oh. God, that took me a while to get out. But yes, and in the meantime, the Amelies have indeed Oh my god, one of them's not doing well. Gee, Ben Kerman's craft. Uh The other two in rude health. Oh no, this one's missing an engine, so. They did not get out of this unscathed. They really did not get out of this unscathed, but nonetheless, they they managed it. They managed it when the previous two craft didn't. Still, little bits. Is that little bits of debris? That's no, not little bits of debris. I kept seeing these things floating around the screen. That's not little bits of debris. It's the <laughs> it's bullet holes on the craft, and the collider's doing something weird. Ah, uh, anyway, yeah. Let's move on to the uh, let's move on to the final fight. Looking very good so far for the SMA 48s then, and in this final fight against my Lynxes, uh, a victory of any kind will see them top of the leaderboard. So yeah, let's get this one started. The final fight starts. I will turn on dogfight cam and will try not to explain any of the mechanics of the BD Armory game modes this time. <laughs> Oh god, uh, one Amram away from Omelette Kerman as uh, he starts to break low with uh, with Amrams coming back the other way. The Lynxes, they will fire between between two and four depending on how that little bug I previously mentioned with this version of BD Armory pans out. 
it looks like the uh, all six craft have uh, managed to avoid that initial wave. Omelet Kerman trying to get a lot for uh, for a sidewinder now. In it goes. A little far out for a sidewinder, maybe. Uh, another one coming back in the other way as uh, as Omelet Kerman seems to be able to dodge those quite nicely. Ah, here comes another one. This is going to be a close-range missile. Oh, okay, we'll need to pop missiles. That was very close. That was a close shave. The Lynx now trying to bring guns to bear onto Omelette Kerman's craft. The Lynx is... They've been a bit weak in this season so far. Previously, I considered them my best fighter, but they just haven't really been up to it. And one of them... One of them looks to have been heavily damaged. Gunfire comes in now, though, and... That seems to be that SMA-48. I don't think that's going to be able to come back from that. Yeah, the other Lynx has dropped off the uh, dropped off the uh, vessel mover now. If this Lynx can finish off this SMA-48... Oh, I can't quite line the shot up. I have retuned and retreaked. Retweaked these craft prior to this competition. I think the, uh, I think the damaged SMA-48 is maybe a little bit too screwy for the Lynx. I said, have, have re retuned and retweaked. They don't seem to be able to line up the shot. And now, yeah, just couldn't get, couldn't get that kill shot in. And now it's down to one against two. Hang on, one of the other, one of the other ones has crashed. It's a joust. Yeah, it's down to one on one. One of the other S4, SMA 48s. It must have been damaged or something, but. Yeah, that's crashed into the ground, so it is down to one-on-one, -on -one, and this Link's distracted by the SMA-48 that's crashed in the ocean. Now that's um, that's timed out, that's uh, disappeared from the vessel switcher. It is just going to be a competition to see who can turn around the quickest, and GT Kermit, is he missing a wing section or something? Doesn't seem to be that good at getting around. Here comes a Sidewinder. Managed to avoid the Sidewinder. Sidewinder? Sidewinder doesn't avoid the guns. Now missing his radar pod. Ah, oh, one of the engines is gone. And with the Lynxes, that is their Achilles heel. It puts them into a flat spin. And makes them a sitting duck. So again, a hard-fought victory. Uh, the previous two craft... Uh, I think the previous two craft both managed a perfect victory against the, um, the SMA-48s. But as, as I mentioned earlier, that uh, that shouldn't matter. It will end up being a very good day for the SMA48 Amelie. Let's um, let's go look at the final scores. A good day then for the SMA48 Amelie. Uh, my initial concerns about its turning rate will lay to rest as it manages to score three victories. If we bring up the leaderboard, we can see that with nine kills and five survivors, the SMA48 sits at the top on 14 points yeah three uh three very solid performances so far but of course um yeah we're drawing ever closer to that little dotted line and when we get there that's when things get interesting but uh hmm, that's for another day a huge thank you to mecha ds for this craft it was very impressive uh, if you want me to fight your craft entries are still open preliminaries are still ongoing as i mentioned at the start of the video but uh, entries are only open till the end of november so uh yeah get them to me pretty quickly if you could um that will be all for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, uh, please consider liking, subscribing, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, Great KSP and BDR community on there, and loads of other stuff. Um, yeah, all those links in the description, as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon. If you want to help support the channel, you can you can get your own little Patreon Kerbal, like I've been using here, uh, as well as your name at the end of videos, access to the Patreon only Discord, that kind of thing. I will be back soon with some more Fighter Subscriber, but uh, until then, thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you next time.